Hey everyone, this is Scott from It's South PC Repair. I've had a lot of clients lately ask me to make some tutorial videos for some of the more basic things that they don't know how to do. So this is my first one, and I figured the easiest way to get started would be to start with something easy. Uh, today's topic is how to back up data to a flash drive. Uh, a lot of people out there have documents and pictures that have been on their computer for years and the only copy they have of those pictures is on their computer. And I can tell you from personal experience, you do not want to have a hard drive go bad with irreplaceable photos on them. Uh, data recovery services usually charge thousands and thousands of dollars to get data off of hard drives. And you could very simply solve this problem by using what's called a flash drive. Um, if you're not familiar with it, a flash drive is a thumb-sized device, as you can see in the picture here, that is basically used as an external portable storage device. Uh, you plug it in your computer, you can copy files to it and from it, and it gives you the opportunity to make a quick and easy backup of documents, pictures, and anything else that's important to you. It's very simple to use, and I'm going to briefly show you today how to do that in case you don't know. And I would definitely recommend you stick around because it's going to be interesting. Okay, first thing we're going to do here is show you what to look for when you plug your flash drive in. Now this is assuming that you've already bought a flash drive and also that you know how to pull up the contents of your computer. Uh, if you don't, you can click on your start menu and if you have Windows XP you will see a link for my computer. You just click on it. If you have Windows Vista or Windows 7, you'll see a link that just says Computer. And when you click on it, you'll see a window very similar to this. Uh, as you can see in this window, you've got the list of all your drives, including your hard drives, CD drives, portable media, things like that. And it's basically where Windows shows you all your available drives and devices. So. Uh, I've already got a flash drive here. I'm using a four gigabyte Kingston, excuse me, four gigabyte SanDisk drive. Uh, and I'll get into drives and brands and sizes here in a little bit, but I'm gonna show you the basics and we'll kind of go back to, um, you know, choosing the right hard drive for you. So, assuming you have your flash drive already, all you gotta do is pop it into any available USB port on your computer. And when you do, you'll see something like this that pops up. Your computer will notify you that a new drive has been added and you can just, you know, normally it gives you the options here to open the folder or to import or etc. But you can just close this and that just tells you that the computer recognizes the drive. And if you notice here, I now have a new drive letter called Flash. Now, I had previously copied files over so I'm going to just delete these real quick just so you can see I'm basically working with an empty flash drive. Okay, this is what you would see when you plug your drive in, basically nothing on it, okay? Now, in this particular example, I've got um, some pictures that I wanna copy over, okay? Now, there's a bunch of different ways to do this. Um, now, first and foremost, most people don't realize how many photos and documents and pictures and um, you know music and all these different things that they have so um, we'll get to that in a little bit as far as how to know what size drive you need but we're gonna assume for this point right here that you have the correct size portable drive or portable flash drive and we're just gonna go from there now the easiest way I found to say for example I want to back up this entire pictures folder. The easiest way is to go to your library here, in this case Windows 7. Um, in Windows XP it would be under your My Documents. You would see uh, My Pictures folder, My Videos, etc. So in Windows 7 it's under Libraries. Either way it's the same thing, it's just called something different. So for sake of argument we're just going to assume that regardless of what operating system you know what I'm talking about. The easiest way if I wanted to copy the entire pictures folder here is just to simply right click on the pictures folder, choose send to, and select flash. Whatever drive letter popped up. Now if you notice when that drive first popped up 
you know, it tells you, you know, drive letter this and that and the other's found. It helps to pay attention to which drive letter it is and what the drive may be labeled so you send it to the right place. And as you can see, Windows just takes the entire pictures folder and starts copying it. Okay, now I'm just going to cancel this so we don't have to sit through and wait for the whole copy to finish. And once it's done, I'll go over to my flash drive and look, there's the entire pictures folder that was up here. And now it's on the flash drive. And if I double click it on the flash drive, it will pull up everything that I had copied prior to canceling the copy. And that's as simple as it gets. You can now remove that flash drive and now you have a permanent copy of those photos in case something happens to your computer. Um, obviously, if you add pictures a lot to your computer, you're going to want to back up frequently. So that's just one way to do it. Okay, for demonstration purposes here, I went ahead and cleaned out the flash drive so it's still empty and wanted to show you a different way to go about backing up your uh, your pictures and, and we're only focusing on pictures right now but this applies for documents or anything else on your hard drive that you want to save say for example um, I don't want to back up every picture I have but I want to go through them and select certain ones so what you can do is in the folder that has the video or pictures documents videos whatever you want to back up you just open that folder up so you can view the contents and you can hold down the control key and select by single clicking certain ones that you want to keep. Now it doesn't matter, you know, it's your personal preference as to which ones you want to copy. And say that's all I want right there is just those those what five or six there. Okay. And if you look, because I held down the control, each of them is selected. See the little highlight around each one? So you can do this two ways now. You can do the same way we did the entire folder with everything of course you can let go of the control key once you've selected everything with these selected you can do the same way we did before and right click send to and then select your flash drive which will copy just those selected items over or you can click on one and drag the whole and it will drag all of them over and drop them right onto that flash drive letter and as you can see it's copying now when it's done, I'll select the flash drive and look, there's those, just those files that I selected and only those. Not everything in my pictures folder, just the ones that I wanted. So that's two easy ways to do it. Now again, personal preference, I like the simplicity of right clicking on it, send to, flash, be done with it. Once it's done, your, your pictures are backed up and at that point you can pull the flash drive out and watch the drive letter disappear. Now I'm going to show you the reason why this is important. Backing up your data is important because your data might get lost if something happens to your computer or your hard drive breaks. So we plug the flash drive back in. Now we'll just say for example, I already did this for you in the break, I'm going to go in the pictures folder. Well that picture of that jellyfish was really important to me. Don't ask why, it just was. So I have accidentally deleted it and it's really important to me so I need it back. Well thankfully I backed up all my pictures to flash so I can put the flash drive back in, go to my flash drive, and look there's my backed up jellyfish so I can drag it and drop it right back onto the pictures folder and now when I go back to pictures there's my favorite jellyfish. That's why it's important to back up your files. Now, a lot of people don't want to go through the hassle of doing this, but rest assured, the first time your hard drive breaks, you're going to be very thankful that you made a backup of these pictures. I get clients a lot, all the time that have hard drives that were fine one day, and the next day, they won't power on. And the photos that were on them were absolutely irreplaceable, Lost, you know, family members that are no longer with us, kids grandkids, graduations, birthdays, anniversaries, photos that simply cannot be replaced. So in other words, if it's important to you, back it up. Now we're going to talk a little bit about drives and drive sizes. Okay, what I did, I went ahead just for demonstration purposes, I went ahead and copied some more things, you know, some more pictures and a few videos and some things that were important to me 
into this pictures folder. Now, how do you know how big of a hard drive to get? Well, the easiest way is to look at the entire file size of the folder that you're wanting to back up. The way to do that is to right click on the folder, in this case pictures, and then click properties. Now if you look down here it says the total size of files in this folder is 4.21 gigabytes. That GB stands for gigabytes. And my flash drive is only a 4 gigabyte flash drive. And you can tell by right clicking on the flash drive and going to properties and you can see here it's it actually says 3.68 but it, some of it is for system files so it's but I, I know it's a 4 gig because a it says 4 gig on it and B that's just the, the normal size for a 4 gigabyte long story short 4.21 is not going to fit on 3.68 so what that means is I have a flash drive that is too small for all the documents and pictures that I want to save so what do you do well one thing you can do is carefully select the specific files you want to save and only those files to make sure that you have enough room on your flash drive because you obviously can't copy more than four gigabytes onto a four gigabyte drive. So you could, as I showed you before, go through and select the things that you want to copy over and then write you know right click on those items and look at the properties and see here it's only about 600 megabytes so those would definitely fit if I try to do all these folders and files it would not fit so then I have a problem so I can either at this point be more selective about what I'm backing up or simply upgrade to a larger drive in this case I have a four gigabyte hard drive four gigabyte drives run about five dollars it pretty much any computer store, Walmart, Best Buy, anywhere, they're in the five to six dollar range and they get cheaper every day. For the next level up is an eight gigabyte drive and those usually run around ten dollars. And you can continue to go up in size to a 16 gig, a 32 gig, 64 gigabyte, and so on and so on. But obviously the more space you have, the more expensive it gets. So the key is to get enough drive space to take care of all the things that you want to back up but not go crazy and spend way more money than you need on a drive that you're never going to fill up. Now the next question is, well what if I have documents and pictures and videos in different folders, how do I know how much space that takes up altogether? Good question. What you have to do is, now there are there's some programs that will you know make automate this process or show you a graphical chart but it's much easier just to quickly add it up in your head now it's important to remember for this addition that a thousand megabytes equals roughly one gigabyte okay doesn't have to be precise just has to be ballpark so a thousand megabytes is one gigabyte what you have to do in this case if you have a four gigabyte flash drive you know you basically can have you know only so much room so what you do is in this case I'm gonna look at my pictures folder my music folder and my documents and my videos to see how much space I have to back up to the drive so I'll right click my pictures go to properties oops sorry okay I have 4.2 gigabytes In the music folder, I have 17 megabytes, which is relatively nothing. In the documents folder, I have 155 megabytes. So, not a whole lot of space. So, the nutshell is, is I can fit all of this on an 8 gigabyte drive easily, but not on a 4 gig. So in this case, it's select what I want to fit on the four or go buy an eight gig drive for just a few dollars more. My recommendation on drives is buy as much as you can afford, but no more than you need. So in this case, it makes more sense to go buy an eight gigabyte drive. Got plenty of room for all my stuff. I can always use the extra four gig for extra storage or to give to a friend or, you know, 
you can use it for anything give it to your child what have you but if you want to put everything on a flash drive then make sure you get enough space to cover all the files that you have now the other common question is which is the best drive to get that's a pretty common question and the one the answer that I usually have is there really isn't a whole lot of difference you've got different vendors SanDisk Kingston a data just about everybody makes flash drives most of them are not much different than the others price is really the only consideration what I will say is always remember to keep your data in at least more than one place if you have it on a flash drive and your computer then if one of those breaks you got your stuff if the other breaks you still got your stuff don't take all of your pictures and documents and movies and favorites and anything that's important to you and put it all on a flash drive that really doesn't accomplish anything other than freeing up storage space on your computer if your flash drive breaks which they do then you still lose all your pictures now some flat flash drives I've had experience with are pretty durable as a matter of fact I've had a flash drive that got washed in the washing machine at least five times and survived and then I went to a client's plugged it in her computer and then it died who knows why flash drives are pretty durable they don't have any moving parts like a regular hard drive does however they do break because they are electronic and you always want to remember that a good backup means having your data in two places at once if you put new pictures on your computer and they're important to you then you want to back them up to flash drive if they're not that important don't worry about it you can back up as often as you want or as little as you want but if the documents are important spend a few dollars and a few minutes every few months and back it up the first time your hard drive or computer breaks you'll thank me and again different flash drives have different features and depending on the brand and the features sometimes they cost a little more some hard drive or excuse me flash drives have safety lock features they have uh, you know uh, they're very you know they're they're security oriented you don't really need all that just to back up your, your your pictures you just need something to plug in copy to and be done with it now obviously if you're a business person who puts critical data or confidential data on a flash drive you want to spend the money and get the one that has you know built more security built in where you have to enter key codes and things like that to access the files but your average home user just needs the typical $10 cheapo Walmart flash drive. Just like with anything else, when you buy it off the store shelf, assume it's going to break. Maybe not today, maybe not in a year, maybe in three years, maybe in three days. But don't ever put everything in one place because when it breaks, then you're in trouble. Okay, well to sum everything up, let me run through a few basics with you. Again doesn't really matter which drive you get, which brand you get, the most important things to consider are size and how much you're going to put on them, and cost. Obviously, if it's not in your budget, stick to your budget. Most people can afford to spend an extra five dollars on something that's going to last for a while, and as long as you take care, good care of the flash drive, keep it clean and dry and out of the way of dust and things like that, they usually will last you several years without a problem. But again, they break and they always they always do they always will just a matter of how long before and sometimes they break for no reason so just be aware of that and don't make the mistake that some of my clients have made putting all of their files in on one flash drive trying to clear up space on your hard drive because sure enough that flash drive will then break and then you will be right back in the same scenario so again Walmart Walgreens pretty much any store has flash drives Best Buy stay away from the you know generally from the big dollar stores if you like Walmart next time you're in there grab one and they even make them in great little colors as you can see here they're very customizable um, you can pretty much see them in you know in any size any shape any color to suit your need they make great stocking stuffers and it really is a good idea to get one um, just to have as a data backup so uh, I hope that was helpful information for you and I'd like to get some comments on your first free tutorial on the basics of computer usage and 
smart computing and maybe if I get enough comments I'll make some more videos and hopefully you will enjoy them so I look forward to hearing from you thanks again and remember Mid-South PC Repair is the DeSoto County's only all-mobile computer repair service give us a call thanks